Good morning, everybody, and welcome once again to Empowering Morning Conversations. And as you know, every morning we come here to help you to shift out of your auto mode or default mode into a create mode. Yeah. So today we have a very, very interesting speaker who will help you to shift out of your default mode as far as money energies are concerned. And to introduce her, I'm requesting Neeti Madok. Neeti, would you please introduce um, Mehek? Yes, sir. sure. My pleasure. Um, good morning, friends. Uh, today we have uh, Mehek Mukherjee with us, uh, an international coach, author, and founder of IKEA, the Oneness Program. She is very well known for um, taking her um, uh, clients through connecting with their inner self and bringing out their inner self and uh, moving on to higher achievements and living a heightened consciousness. Um, she, is, um, uh, she has written a lot of books. Uh, the three books that she has uh, talked about is The Choices and Voices of Children, Cool Daddy, Cool Mummy, You Are a Gift. She uh, is also been into quantitatives such as business statistics, operations research, research methodology, market research, and uh, with many institutes. She, uh, she started with, I, I, if I am correct, she started with child counseling and eventually moved on to uh, working with consciousness. And uh, she is very well known in this field today. She made some of the uh, strongest choices in making this move. And uh, one of her biggest uh, uh, traits is her vulnerability that stands, that stands out loud amid her courageous choices. She uh, is a medium sized and a very, very uh, humble and uh, genuine person. And uh, we really look forward to listening to her today. She, uh, like Sir said, she would be taking us through uh, a, a program or uh, uh, inputs in uh, in money uh, matters, uh, something that we all look for, uh, and that would probably take us on to the line of abundance, make us more conscious on abundance. So, uh, Mehji, we welcome you. We are a small, humble family of. Uh, Empowering Morning Conversations that uh, Mr. Sukhdeepak Malwai has put together. We uh, belong to one another, we support one another, and we grow with one another. So you're welcome to uh, begin your session, please. Yeah, welcome, Mehek. And I must tell you something that uh, Mehek smiles from time to time. And when she does that, she lights up the entire space with it. So welcome to you. Thank Mehek. you. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Thank you so much, Sukhdeepak ji. And Neeti, I am amazed. I've never heard so much about myself at 7 a.m. in the morning. I was like, oh my God. So, okay, cool. Now that everybody here knows me already, so it makes it more easier for all of you to talk to me, okay? So, although I have been given this onus that one hour you're going to help us, but I can't really talk to you all without you all talking back to me. So please uh, feel free to unmute yourself or even barge into the conversation. I like people who actually barge into it. And most of my sessions are more like, you know, everyone talking over each other. I know it's not really, uh, you know, it's not something that we uh, like in a forum like on Zoom and all. But it's fun. It's sometimes fun to fight for the mic, to feel heard, to be able to express ourselves and share our points of views. And it does happen a lot because I speak a lot about uh, yeah, money. One of the most uh, controversial, one of the most uh, important, maybe significant, maybe something that everyone is talking about every single day, maybe. And every con it's part of every conversation. Happen with you? That money is part of every conversation. Yeah, if it is, then please say yes. Yeah, please say that. So usually people avoid talking about money. Yeah, that's the other extreme that I'm not going, to, I only think about it. I'm not going to talk about it, like verbally talk about it, but I'm going to have all non-verbal conversations about it. Everything in my head happens to be around money. Okay, if somebody in the group is saying, let's go on a holiday. 
we like to have some group fun so let's all go on a holiday and instantly like wonder which hotel are they going to go i wonder what is the budget going to be will i be able to go will i be will it be up to my mark i am not going to go to anything substandard that's another view so always there will be opposing views different sides so there are like two sides that we are commonly speaking about one is the side which will be fighting for no it shouldn't be that expensive we should save money and the other one would be like oh it should be so much it should be much bigger life it should be grander than life and have fun have more fun so today let's figure out which side we are on and is it good to have sides or not to take sides what do you all tell your kids that is it good to have sides when they fight or is it we shouldn't take sides at all we should be neutral come on guys please speak to me uh to come in i'm samina here i mm-hmm. think not we shouldn't take sides. shouldn't take sides we should keep yeah. a neutral front yeah yeah but if they have to have to take the side which side do they have will they have to take the one which is okay save money be the one who is the you know the one who is going to keep a greater future alive think about the future have value and all or someone who will really live life which is oh, i have everything under the sun i need to be here in this moment and enjoy life so which side would you like to take yeah naturally the second one that there sure. is no uh, yeah looking back there is always a sense of uh, wonderment along with enjoyment i need to see your face now <laughs> that's a lovely thing <laughs> i was literally shitting bricks because most of the times when i'm going on a conversation and you know i'm seeing a program and most you know at least somebody from the group knows me so then i know that okay at least somebody who knows me will speak my language but when i was like literally yesterday night i'm like literally shitting bricks i'm like i wonder what this group is going to be about and uh, so deepak ji said we don't really do money conversations early in the morning i'm like i wonder what are they going to do are they going to throw bricks on me or what will they receive me so where are you i want to see you i still can't see you one second one second i'm not very pleasant in the morning <laughs> look why oh, that's, okay. that's okay uh, you'll see me different uh, normally too but yeah yeah that's how we are oh you yeah. you look so lovely. lovely yeah who told you you're not present in the morning <laughs> you don't be pleasant just be present just be present with me and i would love that <laughs> and that's what we forget you know most of the times we forget to be present with ourselves in the present moment we forget that we can live life in this moment and enjoy life one of the things that uh, neeti didn't tell you is i lost my husband in jan 2022 and before you all go into oh my god and he was like a gem gem is beyond words but one thing that his death actually taught me is live your life totally right now do every damn thing that you wish to do now because you never know tomorrow you're not alive and the truth is there are many things you can't do without a body you can't eat you can't enjoy you can't go on that trip you can't have fun you can't do anything that will make you feel like super young dynamic and you know you feel that thing in your cells that that space of being alive that adrenaline that you feel that rush that you feel even when you're having sex that that energy that you feel you don't feel it when you're not alive you don't feel it without the body the body feels all that and the body feels alive when it feels all these things and in fact it's the only feeling that you enjoy isn't it so how many of you would say that you all are really present with yourselves other than yes fatima ji where did you go yeah How many of you feel that you are actually living alive? 
or rather you allow in Fatima and go to same boat as us or same choice as us. At least put a hand up if you all are not able to talk. We have something called like a digital hand. Oh, I have one thumbs up. Hmm. What about the others? I am already dead. Shanti is also dead. Okay. Who else? Who else? Okay, cool. So we have two, three people here in this board remaining on the other board. We have, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Vetriven, also in this board. Awesome, cool. So what is this board about? This board is about having prosperity consciousness. And the other one is poverty consciousness. Yesterday I was speaking to somebody, he's a new friend I have made. And uh, this person is in reinsurance. I don't know how many of you all know what is reinsurance. It's something with money, okay? And I don't want you to uh, learn reinsurance from me right now, but I just want to tell you that this guy, somebody who knows money and a lot about money. And he said, I've never heard this term poverty consciousness. I said, seriously? Okay, I'll give you another one that is prosperity consciousness. Go read about it now in the night. And there he was busy reading about it. So what is poverty consciousness? And what is prosperity consciousness? Poverty consciousness is when you're dead. You're living, but you're dead. You're worried. You're looking at the right side of the menu. So how many of you look at the right side of the menu before looking at anything else. It could be in a hotel, in a restaurant, it could be on a trip, it could be anywhere. Come on, honestly, there's nothing to feel bad about. Raise your hands. How many of you are looking at the right side of the menu all the time? Okay, if not all the time, at least five times out of 10. You are looking at the right side of the menu. Okay, thank you for your honesty. And yeah, that is what is vulnerability. If somebody was wondering that, okay, what did she say that really vulnerable? You know, I used to be one of those. Everything in my life would start at the right side of the, you know, the the right column. And very strangely, it was not because I didn't have money. Because a lot of people who have money will actually look at the right side. It has nothing to do whether you're a millionaire or a pauper. Poverty consciousness is actually a state of mind. It is not a number in the bank. So everything that is bringing up in you, would you please drop that first? Drop that whole notion that it has something to do with how much money you have in the bank. So now that I have helped you rest that thought, can you please be a little more open, a little more free with us so that we can break some boulders here, nudge some things in our subconscious minds. So now I can sense a lot of people relaxing actually. So now tell me, how many of you look at the right side of the menu? Raise your hand. I know uh, too, too many honest conversations to early in the morning. May, can I add something to it? Yes. Uh, there is one more category to be addressed. Who sees bottom of the menu, which says the offers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, plus the offer. So right side of the menu plus the offer. What is the offer? True. But you know, one of the th- sayings is that there is no free lunch. A lot of people run after, okay, there's a sale here, there's a discount here, there's a free something here. Let me go there. There's nothing like free lunch. 
if you don't pay for something, you're going to pay for it at another point. Because, you know, we think that this world is run on money. Oh, yeah. That, okay. If I have this much money, I can make that trip. If I have this much money, I can spend this much on a holiday or on a marriage or even somebody dies you wish to see how much money do we have to you know give that person the regard that is required and the biggest shock that i got is like i see a lot of people who are indians here and are there any is there anyone from abroad here no or maybe has family or friends abroad there the are people shock, in this group who are from dubai and from hong kong as well yeah okay but mostly okay. indian origin most indian mostly indian origin you know so people cheat the most you know i i would say like a, there was a shock that raj left and then when i went there the bigger shock over there it was that the funeral cremation expenses were not double triple they were more than 50 times of what india says so i was like what and that was their poverty consciousness one the basic line so where in india a funeral a good funeral will cost you 10000 plus whatever else you want to do over there a basic funeral cost me 5 lakhs and then plus whatever else i would do so you know it was like in hindi ad towns will say zor ka chhatka dheere se lagne yeah and a lot of times we go into what happened what happened here i was just celebrating having fun and then in a few moments my world turns and then a lot of times people who are thriving also they go into something which is known as traumatic responses and most people don't realize that they are holding some sort of trauma or some sort of issue which is driving them to be in that state of poverty consciousness for some people it is in this lifetime some people it's also another lifetime and a lot of people are brought up that way their parents have taught them that this is the way to live this is the way to uh, lead your life in in a fear that i don't have enough and i need to save money i need to take care that my future generations are taken care of or future 10 20 30 years are taken care of this is a concept which i have termed as financial abuse it's there in my book like so yeah in here is it a lot of people think that this is a book on parenting choices and voices of children but i believe it is a book for everyone whether you're a parent or not because it will help you to look at what happened in your childhood are you one of those who has been told that listen you're not allowed to dream so big we can't afford this you know you're talking a, a small child sitting on the dinner table and you know we have in some some of our cultures we wish or we pray before our dinner and here you are praying for that most extravagant life and right there your food is still in your plate and your parent or grandparent bursts your bubble of abundance poisons your well of possibilities and tells you that boss you know you're not going to get that in this lifetime don't even try yeah i remember my father was a colonel in the army and when mm-hmm. i was a kid i just mentioned one day that you know we are going to have we will watch movies in this radio mm-hmm. and uh, he he got so angry and he told my mother you tell this kid to behave himself and stop being so imaginative he's going to amount to nothing in his life he will only be a dreamer totally yeah he did and this has happened to literally every one of us it you might not be the only one who is speaking out and knowing that this is happening in some form or the other 
our dreams have been crushed our choices have been um, you know literally massacred that no you're not allowed to do this i can't afford it or i cannot uh, support you or um, you need to study hard to be able to make a basic living and somebody bought it said i said i'm going to be a very rich man Mm-hmm. And my father says, "Sir, go baniya banna." Yeah. Yeah. So, and that is where you know the seeds of poverty consciousness are, you know, put inside our soil. And as we keep growing and we keep reiterating those same things, that that seed inside us becomes this huge tree, which is not even alive. but it is a tree now a tree of poverty consciousness which is giving the fruits also of poverty fruits that are not healthy which are full of limitations which are full of uh, deadness no life and then you go around telling others that oh, oh beta i know this is life this is how it is hmm. let's just accept it the way it is yeah the moment we have accepted our situation the moment we have chosen that this is how life is going to be and i don't have a choice you are one of those affected by that you know that seed of poverty consciousness and on the other hand prosperity consciousness is this emotion this knowing of abundance that connection with the universe where you know that everything that you think amounts to awareness and can be created in the universe because literally your entire world runs on energy as opposed to what you were taught that it runs on money this entire universe runs on energy whatever you put more energy in that sort gets created you might have heard stories of so many people some stupid people who were uh, tea makers tea vendors and became prime minister some stupid people who were uh, you know like these you know someone who vends at uh, puts petrol in the cars at petrol stations and then became one of the biggest industrialists of india and so many others uh, the latest one who i really adore and enjoy is elon musk who says that i've never gone to harvard but i have many who were in harvard who now work for me so are you one of those who is inflicted by that bug of poverty consciousness who's teaching their children that okay work hard and then you will get this you know it's that linear thinking that you do two and then we'll add two and then we'll add two and then we'll add two and then we'll make four six eight ten so everywhere you are affected by linear thinking and are killing your fantabulous futures things that are actually waiting to come into your life just by you asking for it you know why right? because ask and you shall receive is the norm of the universe it's normal for the universe you ask for it and it's there in your life you dream and the skies will be yours but you have to have the willingness to dream so let's do this small exercise it's a very simple question and if you have an answer for it your life might change right now so who took away your dreams first name i want you to just get me the first name who took away your dreams and the first number that comes to your head it might be the number or the age at which your dreams were taken away you have that and even once you talk to me right now i'm bored talking about it so this is myself always mm. it's yourself yes yeah it is actually ourselves but a lot of times that ourself comes in different forms 
Yeah. We are the ones who've inflicted this on us and we have judged the, you know, what is money or abundance. But many a times we uh, hear it from other people's mouth too. Because we live in a world of oneness. And when you live in a world of oneness, everyone around you is talking your language. Everyone around you is also thinking the same things. So you have to be the one crazy person who is choosing something different. But as a parent, we normally try to restrict uh, giving money to children. Yeah. The impression that they'll spoil. True. I get it. I, I have seen a lot of parents do that. I have seen a lot of parents who actually uh, are affluent, taken by gold and diamonds and all. But if the child makes a simple demand that, okay, I don't like this pencil, but I like this other, or I don't like this set of colors, I like another set of colors which are more richer or maybe you know they have deeper colors and all and they'll be like no that's a waste of money buy something that is cheaper yeah yeah because they think that they need to teach the child how to i don't even get the words i've lost the words also how to save, um, money. save money curb yourself Curb yourself, yeah. How to curb yourself because you don't know what life will be in. No, future. like live within your means. Yeah, live within your means. Chadar utni odni chahiye jitna. Ha. Pair pella sakte. Pair utne felane chahiye jitni chadar. Yeah. So everything that brought up in your universes, will you all please drop it right now? But the funny thing is. We have not been given a blanket to cover ourselves. Yes. We have been given a magic carpet which you can ride. And that magic carpet can fly as much as you wish it to fly. Anything that you desire in your life mm -hmm. is created twice, not once. Once in your head, second time in your reality. But if you don't allow it to live in your head and you kill it there, it can never show up in your reality. Yes. So coming back to Mr. Eddie's question. So if your child actually comes and tells you that, you know, I don't want this stupid phone. I want an iPhone. And you are a person who is using Android like me. I used to use Android and my son said that to me once. And I was like, imagine what did I tell him? And at that time I was already... Um, so I was already out of my house, separated from his father, and I was living on my own. And uh, an iPhone was like 76,000. And not my job. Yeah, it's your dad's job to provide for you. And dad is like, no ways. I am less than an Android person. I'm not going to even do an Android. And you are actually teaching prosperity consciousness. What do you do? And you can't say no. You know, you're teaching prosperity consciousness. You're teaching the money work. Okay, like, and now what do you do? So I say, okay, universe, let's see what is available here. I actually conduct a workshop, which is more or less the price of an iPhone. So I told him, okay, my son's name is Vansha. I said, okay, are you willing to contribute to me? so that I can create that money that you can receive that phone. I included him in my creation. Because truly, you know, one of the most important things that most people forget is that you came without money in this reality. Everything that you got as money, as your house or bank balance or anything, you created here in this body. When you came in the body, you came empty. And then you created everything over here. And then when you leave, again, you will leave everything here and go. But we think that, no, we are going to take that money, that cushion, that pillow with us of security for another lifetime. But truth, we are not going to. So I knew this. I said, now what do I do? So I said, okay, Vansh, are you willing to contribute? I asked him for his contribution. A lot of people also have this um, 
this underlying assumption that parents or elders should only contribute to youngsters we are the ones who are going to give to the younger ones we shouldn't expect from them anything we shouldn't take anything from them but as i said this world runs on energy not on money can you receive their energy can you receive their contribution so i asked him okay vansha you going to contribute and if i have one more registration for my class you have your iphone now imagine i have said this at the same time i'm literally shitting bricks that my father is going to scold me that you're spoiling your teenager and his father is going to be furious that i am the one who's holding custody and you are spoiling he can actually take me to court and i'm telling him that okay contribute and he is like okay i'll contribute that said in the morning evening i have two new registrations out of nowhere i'm like wow what happened here so not only did he contribute for his iphone to come he also contributed for me to create more hmm. how many of you all have ever thought of this that you can actually receive contribution from everyone around you including your children your children are not something who is disconnected from energy they are in fact more connected to energy if you really allow them your children are the ones who are creating their life every moment it's not like the parents are doing a favor on them i mean this topic has gone from poverty consciousness into like hardcore parenting sorry but that's the truth um one of the things that we didn't tell you all about me i have been a parenting coach for more than 15 years and now i have come into this space and after doing a lot of work with lot of lot of lot of people i realized the main work needs to happen there and that's how this book showed up that look at your parenting oops i vanished from the screen when the book came ah oh, yeah so it's available on amazon if any one of you is intrigued and wishes to read it and if we start looking at what we are doing as parents to ourselves because we parent ourselves also you don't have to get to read that book you are parenting yourself all the time as an adult you're not listening to any of your mom or dad you are talking to yourself in your head and there's a parent inside your head who's telling you don't do this don't do this so allow yourself prosperity consciousness because in truth the universe tells you the moment you say i can't afford this should i do this or should i not do this should i make this expense or not the universe <coughs> is saying should i give you this or not do you do you deserve this or you don't deserve this the moment you make that choice from i cannot have this i can't afford this that universe show me how can i have this the universe says you deserve this i'm going to do everything for you to have it and that is a basic difference between poverty consciousness and prosperity consciousness so are you going to fight your life alone struggling working hard to create little money in your bank and live a life of meeting your budgets in a month or are you going to live from prosperity consciousness and include every single molecule on the planet in the universe to contribute to your life and living and the moment you are you know actually engaged and they are contributing to you you know what is possible or impossible literally nothing is impossible then for you you have to be willing to live in that moment you have to be willing to have the adrenaline rush you have to be willing to come out of that comfort zone you have to be willing to dare to ask for more so are you willing to have that like this morning 9th of september 2022 interesting date so you did
Okay, I would like somebody to talk off instead of just showing me a thumbs up. Yeah, See? sure, madam. Uh, can you speak a little louder because uh, you are uh, voice. Yeah. <gasps> Don't tell me I said all these things and you couldn't hear me. No, not uh, properly. That's what I thought. Oh. Hmm. Give me a moment. Let me pick my words. Maybe that can help you. So any questions? Does anyone have any questions around this? Yes. Um, you, can, you can just unmute yourself and talk. You don't have to wait. Thank you, Manik. Of course, uh, we learned great things and we come to a point where uh, there is a seed and it has grown that poor, uh, what do you call it, uh, mentality mm. kind of stuff. But how to erase that? Is there any mm. anti tools or kind mm, of uh, antivirus? Yeah, if you're going to start that, okay, I need to go to the roots of this and clean it and clear it. And, you know, the, it's like your tree of life where you might be just one seed and that whole tree is maybe coming from your family or the entire the people who you know in your reality. Um, if you're going to go and try to change everyone, every uh, you know, every leaf, every part of that tree, it's going to be really difficult. Yeah, because the roots are really deep there. But the one beautiful thing is that from another seed, tree can begin. So you don't think about others. You don't think about your friends, your family, your parents, your neighbors. I mean, I don't tell you that you don't care for them, but you don't rely on them to validate your new thoughts that you got right now. And you begin to choose prosperity consciousness for you. When you begin to choose it for you, you the seed, will get planted in a different soil which has different nutrients, different minerals and you will give birth to a brand new tree which will thrive in prosperity consciousness. Now you will say, oh, that will take a long time. But the truth is it doesn't. The moment you make a different choice, you have energetically shifted into a different dimension. You have walked through the portal and you have begun to create in a brand new dimension, which means that even if, I don't know if you have children, yeah, if you have children who might be not newborn, they might already be of a certain age. Do you have kids? You, you could have guessed by seeing my head. What, what do I have to guess? Tell me. I have, I have two kids. They are studying in school. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, of course, so they are you know, whatever age they are, 10, 15, whatever they are. So they will actually receive the energy of this new seed without waiting for the seed to take roots from a sapling and then a plant and then into a tree. This is called the energy of being a cycle breaker. That the cycle that was going on for lifetimes in your ancestral lineage has been broken. And you are making a different choice. And that will help your children to automatically receive this. Because we forget one thing. That we are actually living in oneness. So the more people you infest with the prosperity consciousness, the more prosperous this world is going to become. The more jovial, the more alive the this world will become. I want to share something with you, you know, at this point. 
so when uh, my late husband went raj and we were two months married at that point and he was supposed to come to india he was in uk he was supposed to come to india to celebrate the wedding here and he was a hedonist a hedonist is a person who really lives from prosperity consciousness who really enjoys the good life and uh, he bought a beautiful boss suit for himself it was a very nice rust brick color suit and it was expensive it was like a good amount of money and he never wore it so when um, over there even if you are hindu your rights happen in the christian way so you are not uh, you are uh, uh, you know cremated but uh, you go in the in that um, what do you call it um, cast okay you are put into that cast and all that and you are dressed up you are not just uh, you know anointed and all that you're actually dressed up and people can see you and touch you and all that so i told them to put that suit on him he wanted to wear it so although he did not take it into his next life but he took that energy of prosperity that he had in this life into his next life because we do carry energy with us we do come naked we are born naked but we carry an energy with us that energy from another lifetime um the lineage is also there but your energy from another lifetime comes with you which defines how you will live this life unless until you come to a class some morning 7 am and you meet some stupid person like me who tells you okay maybe we can change it change it so how many of you all are choosing prosperity consciousness just just saying that you are choosing it is enough for today to begin so how many of you all are willing to choose prosperity we all are <laughs> yeah so everything allow you all yeah everything that doesn't allow you all to know be perceive and receive that, that energy where you thrive where you can engage with every molecule on the universe and know the abundance that you actually knew you already knew it but somewhere you forgot you gave up your dreams you gave up your choices does it is it fun for you to give up choices when you feel that no i can't do this has it ever been fun any choice it could have been a lollipop in childhood or it could be a cruise now at this age it's not fun if someone tells you that no i'm not going to you know you go with a lot of uh, Uh, wishes and hopes and desires let's do this and then someone says not possible now in this give up your choice you kill yourself like in this teeny bit you kill yourself and then some part of you dies within you i'm sure all of you are alive here i Hey, who's that? Who's talking to me? It's me, Taki, Taki, Adi. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I was uh, trying to make that prosperity mindset because we are doing this money mastermind and all. So mm. yeah, we just learned so many wrong things, so maybe wrong concepts regarding money and mindset and all. Still, uh, with the kids, how will I guide them to the uh, shifting of that one? Because we already said no, that one is not for us. This is expensive. So we are shifting that one. sometimes he is asking mm. why we can't uh, buy this tesla tesla or benz or something so how will get them uh, you can buy this i said uh, you can buy it not now uh, afterwards you can buy it so how will shift that mindset or their concept about uh, prosperity mindset or something uh, perceiving yeah that's so true. and even uh, we have to practice you know so most of the time. you don't have sometimes, to shift yeah. their mindset yeah you don't have to shift their mindset you have to choose it for you as i said you can tell them will you contribute to my creating a tesla for you i would love to create a tesla with you not for you with you so remember you are co creating you are not doing it alone are you willing to include them and i mean you know um, just do that don't even ask me how it will show up just do this ask for their contribution and be willing to receive it you'll be amazed yeah. how soon it shows up i and told him oh yeah he was don't saying, go with a doubt don't go with a doubt 
that to mehak said it in that morning and i think uh, let me try it let me you know maybe so there's no maybe there's no trying just go dive into it you can't say i'll try to swim you have to dive into this pool right and then you have to swim there's no choice <laughs> so just choose it and know that okay your children are choosing it and you are choosing it also you know us has no choice but to you know deliver it and this does happen when there are things which are beyond what you have imagined that they'll ask for me at that point the iphone was one of those things i had never bought somebody else a gift forget me buying for myself i was myself dependent on my father earlier and then my ex so it was something that i had never done but that is what i said coming out of your comfort zone being willing to choose more yeah excuse me ma'am ji may intervene yes. this is a conan shahidi and thank you very much see you yeah, thank you so much for your insights uh, i was just thinking uh, if we focus more on prosperity mm-hmm. will it uh, will it uh, uh, lead us to be more greedy or instead of poverty and prosperity if you focus on generosity as you rightly mentioned it's all about energy so if we be generous if we give more energy in terms of money to the universe we might get it back so what's your thought on generosity yeah but uh, you know kunan that's a great question but it's a muddled question a lot of people do generosity from vested outcome that i am doing this so that it comes back to me and it never does that that is actually poverty consciousness but when you do generosity from generosity from prosperity consciousness and you're willing to share you're willing to work together with people with the universe you're willing to have no boundaries that okay this is mine or this is that person you're willing to be be generous with no wasted outcome tell things come back to you thank you yeah. so if you are actually thinking that um, some day it will come back to me if i'm sorry it doesn't work and that's the biggest lie that you have been sold yeah it's great to be generous but if you have 1000 bucks you don't donate 800 you be willing to be in the present you ask questions you see who is really asking for more and who is willing to contribute if you land up being generous to someone who has a poverty mindset he's not going to contribute to you but if you land up including in your team who has somebody who has prosperity consciousness that contribution is going to allow you to rise to beyond your limits and your children happen to be that party a lot not many times yeah makes sense but uh, mehak ji ultimately one day if we have to leave this body and go with the energy so isn't it good idea to be in the mindset uh, to give everything uh, the prosperity or uh, the money whatsoever we label it and go completely free we do go completely free but the energy of whatever our limitations are it does go ahead with us you carry that energy so if you have a limitation in the body it becomes a limitation of your soul or being also yeah makes sense thank you that's why you know they say that this human body is a very powerful incarnation because when you are in this human body you have the capacity to make a different choice and that's why uh, a lot of people you know who come from hindu origin might have read this that a lot of deities and all take a hu- earth incarnation because that's a time where you have a different choice available to you you can make different choices for you and of course every religion has its own way of expressing it i just shared a little bit yeah, from thank- hinduism 
Yeah. I think the Shakti wanted to ask a question. Uh, uh, if you allow. Shakti. Yeah, just go ahead. Of course. Yeah. Hi. Good morning, Hik. Uh, Shakti here. I would like oh, to share nice one to thing. Uh, yeah. Just I want to share some positive thing about this money mindset. Uh, what happened actually? I was my laptop was crashed. Uh, I want to buy a new laptop. Okay. In my mind, I was thinking that uh, MacBook Pro higher end edition. It was costing me around twenty five thousand dollars. It's around two point five lakhs. Uh, somewhere in my mind, like oh, whether I need to spend this much money. That thought was there. Okay, but I have learned access consciousness from Sukti Baksar and then I'm part of access consciousness. Uh, so it was like, okay, why am I having this mindset? I need to clear this one. Okay. Uh, also, the thing is, I want to buy that. I, I created that thought in my head. Okay, that intention is in my thing, but still a lot of things are going in my regarding the calculation. Why I need to spend all those things. Again, the, my bank balance, I was thinking this, that, all those things. Then I went and bought uh, some other uh, configuration thing pad. Uh, it's half of the price. I went for it or purchased. Uh, I'm a, I'm a con uh, how can I say that consultant from so my company won't provide laptops. But in my mind, I was feeling like why I should go and ask them whether they are able to provide my laptop or not. Because sir always used to tell without you don't, you don't have a guts to ask, then you don't have. Uh, you are not uh, eligible to receive that one, right? So I went and asked that. My uh, company, I asked. Okay, then uh, yesterday I received an email. Okay, Shakti, do you need really this much high-end configuration? And I pre replied, yes, I'm looking for it. Today morning when I'm seeing this, it's approved. What I was looking for, the same MacBook Pro, it's approved. Thanks a lot, Subdipak, sir. With audio, it's not at all possible. I'm using all wow. the tools and techniques for your teaching. How does it get even better than this? Exactly. That, this is the yes. time to ask that. How does it get better than this? What else can I ask for that will be yes. provided? Yes, true. How much more courage can I have to ask for more? True. Because literally yeah, anything and everything of... you'll ask for yes. will be provided to you. True. True. Yeah. Yeah. This I thought to share with everyone you so because much. you are talking about my yeah, yeah thank you. That's that's lovely sharing. That's really amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, the universe is waiting to contribute to all of us only if we ask. Only if we ask. So please ask. Please ask for more. Yes, Neeti. Yeah. Um Meg, I have a, a question. Um we are talking. We are talking about uh, prosperity mindset and the poverty mindset. Now, um, being more conscious, being on this uh, path of evolving ourselves. Uh, or let's say I, uh, I am uh, looking at uh, maintaining a prosperity mindset and growing in that area. But your circumstances, your surroundings, when you have a larger portion of poverty mindset around you. Uh, the inputs that come into your life are from that poverty mindset. How can I balance that? You know, it is like one versus four or five. Then how um, can I balance so that my seed grows, my tree grows, and is able to influence the environment around in due course? Have you heard of this, that you have two years, one yeah. to let something in and the other to let it out? Okay. Uh, you have to be aware of what you choose and who you choose to listen. You need to be aware of, okay, is this going to contribute to my prosperity consciousness or are they committed to keeping the poverty mindset alive? So okay. if they are that part of your family or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, your group of people who you're interacting who are committed to poverty consciousness, you know, you don't have to listen to them. That's it. Now, okay. a question from Rama. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hi. Rama. Hi. Good morning. So, good morning. Just now the talk was on ask you will be given, right? So there is in this world there are so many people we who keep asking, right? You can see so many beggars asking on the road. So many other set of people who go into the church or uh, no uh, temple and asking for that or asking this mm -hmm. that. There are a dearth of people asking for it, but they don't get it. What's missing? Yeah. That arrested outcome is, is there. To be able to ask with no point of view. To be able to ask with 
no limitation that is missing they ask with limitations they ask with a vested outcome they are generous but they have this hidden agenda and you have no agenda you're just asking you know how a child is asking their mummy or papa that mom i want to have this dress they don't have an agenda there you keep an agenda there the universe can see through it exactly yeah so that's yeah. the crux of the thing yeah the whole thing hindi mein usko bolte hain masumiyat the innocence the space of not planning and knowing that this is going to show up in this way Cool. Yeah, I think that's Thanks the. Thanks for that lovely question. That's, that's the uh, no the real challenging part. Asking is the easiest, yeah. I think. Yeah, because you think you know everything. You have to drop that thought mm-hmm. that I know everything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One more thing. Uh, we are talking about this uh, prosperity and you know uh, poor mindset, and the, we are putting mm-hmm. one more that is realistic mindset. Something there is something like a realistic. Uh, mindset no or we are thinking about you know we have still that yeah, a idea. lot of people a lot yeah. of people sell that pragmatic mindset and all uh. i'm not one of those who's really enjoyed that i don't live from there and um, i know that i can create something called as prosperity consciousness and again i would recommend there's a whole chapter on this and that chapter says money makes me greedy makes my children greedy the name of the chapter is that so do go and pick this book and read it cover to cover multiple times this is a whole therapy the book is a whole therapy from the first cover till the back cover you'll be a different person so go uh, do that there's one last question we will take from kasa okay yeah kasa go ahead uh good morning so you were telling like uh, okay. when we ask for it we should uh be without any fixed point of view so can you give some clarity on that yeah that you don't plan that it's going to show up in this way i wish to buy a test i wish to have a tesla not even buy a tesla when you say i wish to buy a tesla means you want to work hard and make the money and then go buy a tesla what would it take for me to have a tesla that's it how it comes where it comes whether it comes in mumbai or in london or in dubai or wherever i don't know if i have to you know you just say i would like to have this and then you allow the universe to contribute to you and you allow the energies to guide you and wherever you are taken you will be taken and uh, actually, things will show uh, up uh you know uh post covid i'm going through uh, some financial challenges so i should be in what kind of a question to outgrow my debts or you know most people who go through financial challenges are because they have started asking for money more than what they desire they are like oh i wish to have this much money i wish to have this much money i wish to have this much money drop that completely drop that just ask for all the things that you would like to have all the maybe you would like to have a great meal in a beautiful restaurant maybe you would like to you know dress in a particular set of clothes maybe you would like to take that holiday begin to live from your heart yeah you can ask Thank for you. producing your next film kasa mm. yes sir yeah shift your focus from uh, your monthly budget to what you truly desire sure thank you all right so it's 7:59 mahak i think everybody is really enjoying the conversation but we have to stick to our commitment see so anything you'd like to say before i close the session officially i would like to say goodbye my book now <laughs> can you put the name of the book yes, in the chat i will i will i will yeah will. before we close the session all yeah. right so mehak thank you very much for joining us this morning and um what shall i say facilitating such a wonderful conversation you know you've got such a pull that many people who don't come every morning they also chose to come all wow. right so we've got some very special people including those who work in the area of parenting so we have swati here who works on parenting and she came because you came right That's so that wonderful thank you very much and i you know welcome you anytime again if you wish to come and speak to 
our participants. All right. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for receiving me this morning and listening to my mm -hmm. stupidity and all my bullshit. But trust me, it works. I live like that, and it has worked beautifully for me. And I hope every one of you goes and creates prosperity. All right. Very Thank important. you, everybody. And uh, in their lives. have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful life. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning for another empowering morning conversation. Bye. Bye.